OpenSense 25.7.4 has been released. This OpenSense update delivers a mix of fixes, performance improvements and small feature additions. Highlights include better handling of interface data, faster alias parsing and improved performance in intrusion detection grids. New functionality was added such as a power off cron option, support for text records in unbound host overrides and IPv4 client specific reservation domain names in Kia DHCP. The user interface has saw several refinements including proper form data escaping, removal of empty option groups and support for date time local fields and a new Ukrainian translation is now available and various back-end MVC cleanups were made to streamline operations. Overall, this release focuses on stability, efficiency and usability enhancements. Let's take a look at the plugins and core system updates. Sheridan Computers IT Communications Support So, core system updates and FreeBSD ports. The Python DNS utilities library has been updated to 2.8.0. Kia DHCP server has been updated to 3.0.1. The libpfctl library has been updated to 0.17. NSS has been updated to 3.116 for your certificates. OpenVPN has been updated to 2.6.15. PHP has had an update to 8.3.26. The requests Python library has been updated to 2.32.5. Suricata has been updated to 7.0.12. And Unbound has been updated to 1.24.0. And finally, the light HTTP daemon has been updated to 1.4.82. The Caddy plugin has been updated, so they've added DNS01 challenge delegation via CNAME. The Netbird plugin has been updated to fix some service startup issues and switches to syslog. The OS theme advanced plugin has been updated, which fixes some styling issues on 25.7. The Zabbix agent has been updated to the 7.4 variant. The Zabbix proxy plugin has also been updated to the 7.4 variant. And that wraps up this round of OpenSense updates, mostly behind the scenes improvements, performance boosts, and a few handy new features. If you found this summary useful, do me a favor and give the video a like so that I know you want to see more update rundowns. And if you're looking for help with OpenSense design, deployment, or troubleshooting, feel free to reach out. I offer consulting as well. Head over to SheridanComputers.com if you'd like to hire us. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.